Hey guys, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. As we know, Aptera is going to be using um, in-wheel hub motors from Elaf, which is a Slovenian company. And basically, these are hub motors that go into the wheels. And there are many advantages and disadvantages to them. And, and, and I was a little curious, so I looked into them. Um, first of all, what's kind of interesting to note is that hub motors were are not new. The first hub motor was patented back in 1884 by someone named W. Adams. And the initial automobiles were electric. And um, uh, there were a lot of electric drive uh, vehicles and hub motors were like the natural way to go. And many of the early electric vehicles used hub motors. But then as internal combustion engines became the dominant powertrain of vehicles, they didn't lend themselves to hub motors. They needed, you know, a centralized motor. And then we get the drivetrains that we know about now with a centralized motor, a transmission, a drive shaft, and CV joints and things like that. And so then the new EVs have kind of used that and um, recapitulated a lot of those things in the current EV drivetrains, although EV drivetrains don't necessarily need those things. Um, so the main advantages of a hub motor are basically efficiency and uh, simplicity. So this is a, a really good article that was just recently published in the Automotive Engineering Journal. It was their cover story. And they talk about how um, it enables improvements in propulsion efficiency, ride dynamics, active safety, vehicle design. And they believe that these are going to be um, the, the way that EVs are going to be used going forward. The main disadvantage is basically that of unsprung weight and unknown uh, durability. And so I found a very good um, video, and this is actually done by the chief engineer of Protein, uh, Protein Electric. And Protein Electric, so there's two major um, companies, and I'll show you here, that make in-hub motors. And they are Protein and Elaf. So uh, pro the chief engineer of Protein put together this um, webinar where he talks about the problem of unsprung mass. And basically what I learned from this is that the problem of unsprung mass is really a problem of the sprung to unsprung mass ratio. And so the heavier the vehicle is, the less a problem this is. So this is a bit of an issue with Aptera because Aptera is a very light vehicle. So the sprung to unsprung ratio is going to be fairly low, probably like four to one or maybe even three to one, which means that the secondary mode of oscillation at the 10 hertz cycle will be more um, pronounced with Aptera, which is a lighter vehicle. This plot assumes what they call as linear damping characteristics. So you can use passive dampeners and you can basically tweak the suspension such that um, this secondary mode is um, obviated quite a bit. So hopefully, uh, you know, I'm sure Aptera knows about this, and that's why they're working hard on their suspension design. Um, I suspect that this is going to be uh, a, a, one of the technical challenges that they're going to have to deal with. People have ridden the um, Alpha vehicles, and um, like... Transport Evolved took a ride in it, and they didn't make too much mention of the ride quality being too harsh. So I suspect that they have mostly solved this problem. Um, in terms of um, advantages, basically the advantages are it uh, it takes away. Um, this is kind of like the Tesla sk uh, skateboard model, where they have the battery pack as a skateboard in the middle, and then they have their motor and then they have the differential and they have CV joints and drive shafts that go into each uh, wheel. The, so what having in-hub motors does is it takes away a lot of the weight of those transmission and drive shaft components and uh, gets rid of them and frees up all this space where those things used to be. And 
all those extra um, components actually decrease the efficiency of it. So it makes for a much more efficient vehicle because you don't have all those frictional losses. And so the, then the last thing that we worry about is um, durability. And so Alaf has this um, video where um, they've tested their motors in all kinds of pretty severe conditions. And so this is a test showing like putting radial and axial load on the uh, motor. They're pulling and torquing it and it doesn't make any difference in their speed. Then they did this drop test. So you would not expect to see this kind of uh, force because you'd usually have it encased in rubber um, from the tire and the tire would take a lot of the stresses. And then the, you know they're, they're spraying it with water and they immersed it in water for 30 minutes and that was not a problem. And then um, they did some thermal cycling uh, with hot and cold. Oh yeah, this is where they put it in a bunch of mud, let it cake on and dry, and then they spun it off to make sure that it still works and did not bother the motor. That didn't seem to be a problem. They had it completely iced up and it has so much torque that it can just rip the ice right off of it. So uh, that is another one of these advantages is um, high torque and it allows torque vectoring. So it improves the handling with torque vectoring and also um, it, you can monitor each wheel with um, millisecond frequency and allows for a lot of safety things, uh, safety features that are not uh, possible with any other kind of drivetrain. And if you want to listen to the entire webinar by the uh, chief engineer of Protein Electric, he talks about all those things and it's uh, very interesting. And I will put that link to that video um, in the description below. Yeah, so they're testing it in the winter. They did it on this frozen river track. Um, then, you know, this is a lot, running through a bunch of potholes, brick roads, um, gravel, embedded rock, speed bumps, all kinds of stuff. So basically, they've tested uh, it in all kinds of different conditions. Oh yeah, they dropped this thing from a meter, which is crazy. Um, and evidently that survived that, no problem. So Dur uh, Protein Electric says that they've done over a million miles on theirs. I suspect that Alaf has done the same. So it seems like um, durability, they've been looking at that and that shouldn't be an issue. It is a new technology. I will put a link to this automotive engineering article as well as this video, as well as the Alaf uh, video in the description below. But I think the advantages of the hub motor, the simplicity, the increase in efficiency, and um, and the torque vectoring improved handling, that uh, and the improved safety features of it outweigh the the uh, disadvantages, which are mainly the the uh, ride quality effects with the unsprung weight and the durability, which I think. Both of those solve problems have essentially been solved. Hopefully we will know more as um, more people get to ride the uh, beta vehicles and the gamma vehicles. And hopefully I'm talking with uh, Aptera to try to get a visit down to them at San Diego. And I'll definitely make a video if I ever get lucky enough to get a ride in one of the uh, pre-production vehicles. So thanks for watching.